Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to automatically color cells based on the value in another cell. So we'll do this first of all for numeric values. We'll also do it for text values. And then the final exercise is where we want to format cells in one column based on values in another column. So any actual values that are over budget get a red background, for example. Okay, let's see how this can be done. So your first step is to select all of the cells that you want to color. So you go to the conditional formatting button on the ribbon, and then you go to highlight cells rules. And what we want to say here is any value that has met the sales target goes green. So we're gonna to have to go to more rules because we can't see greater than or equal to. So if the cell value is greater than or equal to, and then I click in this box, and then select the cell that contains the value that I'm comparing these values with. So that's E2. Then I go to Format, and I want a green background, so I go to Fill, Green, and then I'll change the font color to white. You can see that that works. Now, it works in the same way for text values. I would select the cells that I want to potentially color. Conditional formatting, highlight cells rules. I'll just go to equal to here. Equal to what? Well, J3. And then I can change the color here. So I'll go for green fill with dark green text. And if I wasn't happy with that, I'd go to custom format and I could choose a different green and say white text. Okay. So that's fairly straightforward, but what about this scenario? So any values in this column that are greater than the corresponding value in this column, we want to appear with a red background. Now what you do is you select all of the cells that potentially you want to color. You go up to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules. Now for me, this is gonna be greater than and what you don't do is select all of the cells in the other column. That might seem the obvious thing to do, but if I click on OK, it doesn't allow me to do this. This type of reference cannot be used in a conditional formatting formula. Change the reference to a single cell. Now, the way to understand this is that when you make a selection, although all cells are selected, only one is active. So for example, if I started typing now, it would type into the first cell I selected, which is the active cell. Now, what you're doing is you're creating a rule for that active cell that then gets copied down to the remainder of the selected cells. So we were almost right in what we were doing. So I'm going to highlight cells greater than, but rather than selecting all of the budget cells, I just need to select the first budget cell, because that is what we're comparing the active cell with. Now it still doesn't work. You can see that for example, these values here are not greater than their corresponding budget values. Now the way to resolve this is to remove the dollars from this cell reference here. At the moment, what we're doing is we're comparing all of these actual values with the first budget value in column N. And that's what the dollars are doing. They're locking the cell reference. So you can either use the F4 key on your keyboard to get rid of the dollars and you have to keep pressing it. Or if that doesn't work, just manually delete the dollars. So then if you click on OK, you can see it works. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.